Okay, so before we get started, I want to ask you all a question here. So, with a show of hands, how many of us love data? Like, because, yeah, for sure I do, and the fact that there is so much data going to waste is of great concern to me. I feel that almost every decision we make must be backed on data, and we should have some basis on making those decisions. And uh, so I help with, uh, you know, making business decisions and strategic decisions based on your data. Yeah, so I'm Akash, I'm from India. I love food. It might not look like it, but yeah, <laughs> believe me, I do. <laughs> I love this dish. It's called the chicken tikka masala, right? As we all know. And what we're going to be doing today is building something like a sales tikka masala. Okay, so what we see here, this is the default uh, pane of Power BI. This is the default view you get. All right. Uh, as we can see on top here, that is the main ribbon. Uh, this has got a bunch of important data, I mean, uh, buttons and options to choose from. Uh, for example, the Home tab here talks about getting data, which is usually the first step we start from for any report building. Um, and then you have recent sources. If you're already connected to an existing data source, you can edit queries. So to be more specific, a query is a set of instructions we choose to uh, get access data. Uh, the view tab talks about handling the layout and the view of the page. Uh, the modeling tab has some interesting functions where we can select new measures and relationships and we will get into it in a bit. Yeah, and there's a help tab in case you want any further support, any instructions. There's also a very active online community for Power BI. Uh, they have their updates coming in every month. So it's a very active way of learning and if you, there's always training videos and a lot of documentation. Any support you need is always here. Great. And um, these panes on the right, these are the visualization pane. The visualization pane has a set of uh, visuals to choose from. Um, so these visuals below have uh, a fields tab, a format tab, and some visuals also have an analytics tab. So. Like, for example, this, the table here has an analytics tab. Uh, the field tab, what it does is, you know, this is where you bring in your data, your tables. Um, the formatting tab talks about how you can format your visuals, change the colors, and make it look beautiful. And the analytics tab talks about any analytics we can do, as in finding an average, or the maximum line, or the minimum line, and things like that. Now the fields pane on the right is where you will have your list of tables and data sets. And you can navigate through this pane and search for the tables you're looking at and stuff like that. Now the pane on the right, this has got three different views. One is the report view, which is like the canvas, and this is what you, this is where you see your work happening. You're building your visuals and dashboards, I mean you're building your uh, reports here. Uh, that is the data view. The data view talks about uh, it will give you a more table format and a view of what data you're putting in there. Um, and the relationship view sets up relationships between your tables. The relationships between these tables are usually set by default by Power BI um, based on its primary keys. A primary key in a table is a unique key item specific to that particular table and it connects to other tables on its own uh, by default. But you can always come into this tab to manage your relationships manually in case you want to uh, create specific relationships. Um, yeah, but uh, so today we're not going to go in depth into too much of uh, relationships, but uh, so I'm going to show you the basics. Right, so to get, so first we do is get data. This is where we connect to our data sources. So you can see here, this is the main view of getting data. So you can, it has a variety of data sources to choose from. You can, to make your life easier, you can always enter a data source if you know what you're looking for. Um, so we go into, say, Dynamics, which comes under online services. So once you hit connect, it asks you for uh, an API URL. Um, and if you're logging in for the first time, 
it will also ask you to sign in. Um, this is where we are right now. All right, so as you can see, we've added the spices and a few other important ingredients we need to progress on. So what we're going to do here, henceforth, is we're going to edit the filters and the titles. You see some of these titles aren't very clear, right? Like actual value um, does not have a space in the middle and you can name the title what you want the visual to show. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be learning more of how we can add filters and how we can correct these titles by formatting them. Yeah. yeah, so if you all can click on the uh, on the measure two, this is the second page on your report. Mm -hmm. You can see that we have this done for you. Now this this visual here answers a few questions. Uh, as you can see, the first two visuals on top gives us an understanding of what service is provided by this company. So we're assuming that we are a data service providing company, right? So. The services, the various services provided are, is the first graph. It shows that creating sales reports, geographical heat maps, and providing insights are our top three services provided by count, by number. And the graph on the right shows you the average revenue earned by providing those services. So these are, creating sales report generates the highest revenue for us, and so on. Uh, now, the ones below. These two visuals here talk about the top five companies, top five companies by actual revenue, and the bottom five companies by actual revenue. Okay, so in order to set the filter first, we can see that this shows us this is the this is the this visual is correct. It shows us the top five companies, and I'm going to show you how to do it, change it for the bottom. Okay, so once you click on this visual, you will be able to see the the fields pane. You can see these are the fields you have added in here. So once you go to the filters section, you have these drop downs beside the fields you've added. And you can see company, we want to filter them by company, right? So we click on company, we have other uh, filtering options here. Because we want to get the bottom half, we select this, this top end gives us an option to select the top part of the table or the bottom part. Right now we want the bottom, so we select this. And we're looking at five, so we set the number into five, and we want it, We want them to be. We want them to be segregated terms on based on value, right? So we look for actual value in the can hover over the field pane just to make sure that you're selecting the right one. Drag it in, hit apply filter. It gives you the visual for the bottom. Okay, so here we click on bottom five, we select, are we all here? Are we all on the same page? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, great. And now uh, we want to filter them based on actual revenue, right? So we Select actual revenue from this from the fields pane, right? And we drag it into by value. So we are filtering bottom five by the actual value. And we hit apply filter. I personally feel that this would make a lot more sense because this way you could you see the bottom half and the bottom the company which all, uh, contributes to the least revenue is always down. So okay. You can click on the ellipsis on the top right corner of the uh, visual to always, you know, sort your visual accordingly based on what criteria you want. Uh, right. So if you want to publish the report, create to create dashboards and share with your colleagues, you can always hit publish button on the on the top. I'm going to show you. What I did here was I did not share it with anyone. All I did was I published it to the web. Now I can access my report from the web. So either I can go into powerbi.com and hit get data from the sign into your account you're using here and hit get data and get the data from the desktop. Or you can just, I'm going to open it from here. To your report, let's say to an executive committee. 
Yeah. They would have to have Power BI to see the report? No, uh, not necessarily, because a Power BI, the report can be viewed on the web, right? So you can, they will get a link which you will be able to, uh, you will be able to see the Power BI online instance. It's not necessary okay. that you have to have a desktop version to view the report. Okay. You can view the report online, on, on your browser. You don't need that. But yeah, if you want to drill down, drill through, just to give you a brief of what the difference is, uh, a drill down is something when it takes the visual to the next level. Like if you're viewing by say accounts, you can click, it can give you a project view of the account. That's drill down. And drill through is if you want to connect one visual to another visual report page, you can always set those, you can manage the visuals. And if you click on one visual, drill through, it'll drill to another. So this is the online instance, and uh, you can see the pin visual on top. This is what you use to print a pin to uh, any dashboard. If you want to create a new dashboard, this is where you start from. So you you put, uh, click on a visual. You just go back to the report. So based on what you want to see here, like you remember, this has the slicer, right? The other report, which we view revenue by month, does not have the slicer. <coughs> so the point of creating a dashboard is that you can put both those visuals into one dashboard here. Because the slicer does not affect the dashboard. Right? So say, for example. Sorry, say that again. Yeah. How do you combine two of Yeah. So as of now, you have created a report mm -hmm. and you have published it to the web. Okay. Right? So we've opened the online instance. Now, in order to create a dashboard, we just have to hit the pin icon on top of the visual, and it'll open this screen where you select you want to have an existing dashboard or a new dashboard. In this case, let's just create a new dashboard. Yeah. Uh, you can just create a new dashboard, just name it what you want. Right? There you go. Oh, wait, not just yet. So that's you've got one visual there. You can always add more visuals. Like for example, this is the visual with the slicer. Let's go to the other part. Right. So that was one visual from the page which had a slicer on it. So that was a page level uh, view. And we could just pick that particular slicer. But what it does here is you can pin this visual, which is a cumulative value, right? Pin it to the existing dashboard. When you go to the dashboard, you will get to view the report, the, you can view all of this, right? And this can be customized as well. So if you click on the visual, you can always resize it. Um, right? So this is like your canvas now, and you can play around with this, you know, make sure you have a beautiful looking dashboard. And it has a great um, visual, type of visual as well, like, uh, to create, to show geographical data. There's a type of visual which will give you an outline of the map and it will highlight just the parts you want. So uh, those are those visuals are really interesting for the kind of work. Yeah, less than four minutes. Okay, um, so to sum up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is once we have your dashboard ready, based on whom you want to share it with, you have the share button on top, you can download the dashboard. <coughs> Pick you up. Okay. Yeah, so. Um, <laughs> That will be all from my side. Do I? Do you have any questions for me? I will be very there. I, mean, I think I've, uh, if, you, if I've already answered your questions, it's great. But if you have any questions, I'm already yeah. I mean, in the previous uh, presentation, how do you create the tab? Like, is it just uh, I saw at the bottom of the line there is a plus sign to create. Yeah. So that's uh, those are new pages. Yes. New pages. Yeah. 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 All right, that's it from my side, guys. Thank you so much. You guys have been awesome. Thank you.